Welcome to the France 24 Observers. This show is based on our network of observers, ordinary people who tell us what's going on where they live and send in photos and videos to document it. We verify it all here in Paris and bring the best to you. We begin today in Tripoli. For more than 40 years, Libyans lived under Colonel Gaddafi's rule. During his dictatorship, people felt like their every move was being watched. But since the fall of Tripoli, the capital citizens can once again express themselves freely. Our observer has spent every day since Tripoli's fall roaming the streets with his video camera, filming people saying whatever they want to whomever they want. We head to Tripoli with Tariq El Meri. Peaceful demonstration did not make any sense to do in, uh, in this type of regime because the response is clear. You just get put away or you get shot. As, as soon as Benghazi started, we we're trying to let people know uh, via Twitter, via Facebook, whatever information I had, we, we asked until the internet was cut off and it was heavily monitored. For, for the past few days, ever since the rebels came in after the operation of the 20th, the liberation of uh, they call it uh, the, the Bride of the Sea, which is a nickname for Tripoli. Uh, as soon as that minute happened, we all went out in the street. I, I came out with my camera, my big camera, not hiding through a mobile phone. And everybody came down celebrating and actually welcoming these rebels coming in from different cities. A lot of them actually are neighbors that went to train and come back and protect us and come back and actually liberate Tripoli. Uh, it's, it's a very epic moment, to, to say the least, because that's what we've all been waiting for. I, I, I don't think it's so much to say it's a moment I've been waiting for all my life because I hated the system, I hated this guy, I hated the way things were run in this country. Before that particular time, you can never dream of uh, expressing your mind in the streets or publicly, but you're, you're able to say it around your friends, people you trust, but not uh, not to random strangers. And from there, I, I try to get everybody's first account because the moment you put their camera on them, they just give you what they feel at that moment. And it's usually something you can never predict. People cried, people laughed, people jumped. Something I've never seen in, in Libyans for a long time. But when I come back and watch the videos, it's very, very emotional for me to actually see my, my fellow Libyans expressing their minds and telling their stories with, with no blocks and no fear and nothing to worry about. In this show, we've often talked about how important amateur videos are for following the protests in Syria. They're usually filmed by activists. But in the past few weeks, we've seen more and more videos of prisoners being humiliated and tortured by security forces. They're filmed very close up, which seems to indicate they've been filmed by the security forces themselves. So we wondered, why and how are these videos showing up on YouTube? We go to the city of Homs with our observer, Walid Fares. I believe this first video, which is filmed in a bus, shows protesters who were arrested in Hama. This video shows a man being beaten. He's a soldier who tried to leave the army because he refused to participate in the repression of protests. This third video shows men dressed in black. They're part of an anti-terrorist branch of the security forces. The regime considers protesters to be terrorists. The video that shocked me the most is this one, where we see an old man from the city of Homs being beaten by soldiers. It's possible that these videos were put on the internet by members of the security forces who wanted the public to know what the regime was up to, or it could be a strategy on the part of the security forces themselves. They could be putting these videos online to send a message to protesters. If you continue, this is what will happen to you. But I think, on the contrary, these videos are inspiring people to keep protesting against this brutal regime. The videos don't scare off demonstrators. They only reinforce their determination. 
That's it for this week. As always, you can find more reports from our observers on our website. See you next time.